My name's Alan Hart, and in today's video, I've invited Martin from Trade Help. Um, Martin grew a business from a very small business to a multi million pound business, and I thought it'd be interesting for us to have a little chat and uh, hopefully give some people, some, some plumbers and gas engineers that are watching, a bit of guidance on how you, how you could grow your business as well. So, yeah, over to Martin. Thanks, Alan. So Alan's asked me in for a brew, which is which is nice. Um, and I just wanted to talk about uh, my journey uh, in the industry. So I joined my dad's business, which was a small family business. He uh, ran out of his garden shed at the time in a little porter cabin. Um, and we had three or four um, guys working f for us at that time. My dad said to me, uh, Martin, come and, come and help me buy uh, my materials at a better price while you've, you've left university, while you're looking for another job, um, which I did. And, um, and over time, we kind of worked out that if we invested in our business in terms of offering our customer service plans and we could invest in um, creating um, recurring payments on a monthly basis, recurring revenue, we could grow our business significantly because it gave us a chance to, um, to sort of even out the, the, the sort of cash coming in uh, over the year. So we grew our business from sales of less than 100,000 when I joined in 1990. Um, and when we sold it, we had sales of 90 million pounds. Um, and wow. we sold it to British Gas in, 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 in 2011. So a really interesting journey. And, um, and that led me to sort of trade help really, which, uh, which was, um, you know, to me to try and use that vehicle to advise and help businesses uh, they're in the same situation I was in where I was in 1990 to who we wanted to grow to overcome the challenges that that, that sort of um, that we encountered over the, over that period and what what as a business could I do to help grow my business and um yeah, grow my business really. What could I do? Well, one of the things that I learned very early on, and we learned as a, as a business, was um, you know we're very busy in the winter. We're all busy in the winter, and in the summer we're not so busy. So, how do we even out that sort of revenue and enable us to invest in our business over the whole year? And one of the things we did as a business was we invested in creating service plans for our customers. Um, so what we did was we. We started from scratch and we, we created three types of service plan. And one was a service only, one was a plan where we'd look after the, the boiler and service, do an annual service, and one was a plan where we'd look after the boiler, the system, and doing the annual service again. Um, so we had three basic plans and we started offering our customers a way to do that through a direct debit. So we split the cost of those plans um, on a monthly basis. And, and that really was the was the reason we were able to invest in our business and grow to having um, you know, hundreds of thousands of customers. Um, and it's something that is doable for any business that's out there. Um, and you know, Trade Help have, have invested in um, software now where you can create service plans and create and set up direct debits very easily for your customers. All the terms and conditions are actually within the software that we have, our Trade Help Office software. Um, so you don't have to go through the pain of what I had to go through in 1990, which was writing plans from scratch. Um, the only thing you have to do is um, set your pricing accordingly and actually, you know, you can email a plan to your customer and grow that part of your business. So you can go on to Trade Help, you can go to App, you can sign up, you can get service plans for customer and, and sort of like break down cover as well. And that's all good, that's brilliant for a business, um, as you said, recurring revenue. As the long goal as well, so we spoke earlier about that if you ever wanted to sell your business, so can you tell us a little bit about what why that might be? Useful? Yeah, so um, we get approached at Trade Help quite a lot by our members, and, and as they're getting older, they're saying, look Martin, I, I want to I hang up my tools, as it were, and, and I want to step out of the business. What do, What's the best way for me to realise some some money for what I've got for my customers. And I think the first thing I say to them is, what have you actually got? You may have a customer list. Have you got something tangible that you could sell to a, a third party? And sometimes they have and sometimes they haven't. If they haven't, the best way to do that is to get yourself, get your customers on sort of contract. So a service plan contract or the like, where you can physically say, here's, here's a customer 
this customer's paying me on a direct debit basis. Um, here's the terms and conditions they've signed up to. I can package that up and I can sell that to a third party who will buy it off me um, and buy that customer off me. And that is the best way really to realize some value for your business if you're looking to step out. And it's relatively easy to do. If you've got a customer list, you can email your customers with, with a plan and get them signed up. Um, and you know that's the way to go. We have some relationships with, with other businesses um, out there who are asking us constantly, have we got anything to sell in terms of service plans? We don't, but our, certainly our members are out there and, and um, you know they might be interested. We just tell give them the details, basically. It's, so, it's something that I should have probably done many years ago. Yeah. I signed all my customers up and then as I'm getting older now, I could have maybe yeah, sold my business or... Realised some value. Yeah, which, yeah, I think that that's... Anybody who wants to grow the business, I think it's putting putting on a service plan would be very, very useful. Um, as Martin said, that continuous revenue as well. So over summer, when you're not getting as much money, it even that out, it balance it out for you. So I think that, that that seems really useful. Yeah, no. And it's, it's great for, for our, it's proved very popular with our, our members and, um, you know, it's really easy. So by all means, you know, um, give us a call or or, um, or go to a website and, and, you know, we, we will help you set that up. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Is it any other tips that you feel? <laughs> I know we didn't say all about this, but what else that you feel that could help somebody grow the business? I think, or? Well, when, when I joined the business in 1990, the reason my dad brought me in was... Well, I was doing nothing at the time, so I'd left university. He was probably sick of me hanging around the house. But um, he said, look, can you look at my cost of my you know, my materials? If I could save five or six percent, that's five or six percent more that I'm making. And, you know, it was relatively easy for me, even without too much experience, to go to the, the suppliers I was dealing with and say, look, can you do a bit better for us? Um, and then actually and then make sure they continue to do better. So, again... We have the buying group at Trade Up, and we are we are there. It's free. We are there to help um, provide a, a pricing framework through our, our merchant partners that adds some value to you. So um, you know we do price checking for you. Again, that was my job in the early days. My dad saying check my invoices because I'm getting re mis mischarged constantly. So we do all that for you at Trade Up because I recognise that that was a real challenge for us as a business to grow was consistency and keeping control of that that purchasing so so I'd, I'd say you know get hold of your purchase cost and um, there's no other way to do it apart from working hard to be honest with you uh, you know that's that's the way forward and um, you know it, it, it is hard work there's no easy route uh, and you have to be prepared to take some risks at times so people can do that in the app for free and they can get special rates on products yeah so you know competitive and consistent pricing is what our motto is so if you join, if you join us and uh, download the app and join the buying group, um, you know we have a relationship with City Plumbing, we have a relationship with Wolsey, we have a relationship with Plumbase, and we have a price framework in place that's attached to your account. You don't have to buy it through us, so you're still buying your own account, but those prices are attached to your account, so you'll get those consistent pricing. And because we check your invoices every month, you don't have to worry about um, overcharges, and we'll tell you if you do any credit. So. It's, it's really good value um, and, and it's a function that's, again, we've got um, many thousands of, of members using it. Also, you've got the service reminders. Um, so how does that work? So basically, if you set up an appointment for a customer for a service uh, in the app or, or in, in, in the desktop software trail office, um, you can set up a service reminder for your customer. So that reminder, uh, goes out to your customer a month before the service and it also sends you a, an email reminder to say look this is coming up in 28 days and again it, it will tell you seven days prior that your service is due um, and it sits in your calendar that service will sit in your calendar within your app or within the software um, trade office software which is desktop software and you've got loads of interesting products and services coming soon is any of them you want to yeah, we've got, we've got some interesting stuff coming up. So we've got something called Buy Trade, where you can locate um, spare parts for repairs and you can locate the closest branch to you out of City or Wolsey. And you can also use the Trade Help uh, framework to get the best price for those spares. 
So if you put those two sets of customers together, um, you'll have over 900 locations um, and they will deliver for you. You can, you can collect same day, collect next day. And as I say, you can use the trade up framework pricing for that. And that's being launched in 2022, uh, early 2022. So um, yeah, that, that'll be really interesting. Yeah, great stuff. So just to recap for anybody, to grow the business, service plans is definitely I think to grow your business, to get your, your your revenue, which you've recurred throughout the year, is great. To sell your business, it's also great. And in the earlier you start, the, the earlier you start building up this customer base, the more you have for selling on if that's what you want to do in the future. Yeah, well, thank you very much. If you've got any questions for Martin um, or for me, then please put them in comments below. And we'll try and do some follow-up videos, maybe do a video on service plans. There's a bathroom tool as well that maybe we'll do a video on that shortly. A lot of these um, tools are actually free in the app. So you can download the app for free and you can see if any of them things are useful for you. Um, I use the landlord CP12 certificates on in the app a lot. Um, again, that's free, so you're not paying a provider for that for that software so yeah as i say if you've got any questions please put them in comments below and we'll come back and try and do some more videos yeah thanks al thanks very much cheers